Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Sword Art Online War of the Underworld 2. Um, this is episode number 10 and in the previous episode we got to know the situation like the whole situation that's going to happen that is uh, Asuna and Kirito will have to spend 200 plus years in um, Underworld which would amount to like almost 10-20 uh, minutes in the real world so by that time they'll probably like fix the uh, soul tr uh, translator and get them out but that will amount to like 200 years and uh, like i said this in the previous episode and i'm saying uh, saying this again that is like i prefer alice and sinon to azuna like azuna is a good character is like uh like good character and sweet and all but still i preferred those two but like this will be the first anime where like my preference and the one I want the main character to get together with will be different. That means that even though I prefer uh, Sinon and Alice to Azuna, I think that the person perfect for Kirito now will obviously be Azuna because they will be spending 200 years together and their bond or the chemistry whatever you call it will be uh, like like those two getting together will be the only thing like uh, otherwise like it won't work like the amount of chemistry like Kirito and uh, Sinon had and uh, the, the, uh, Alice had will all be like null and void because like 200 years they'll spend together so like this is the first anime where my preference my waifu preference I do not want the main character to end up with like <laughs> like th that is really kind of like this is the first time that this type of thing is happening so yeah okay so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number 10 of Sword Art Online War of the Underworld 2 okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started all right I'll be starting the countdown three two one go Artificial General Intelligence Okay Wait Oh my god Wait how did she come out? What the hell? Like is this some kind of robotic body or something? I think that is like it must be like some kind of synthetic body or something Damn her, like uh, those mannerisms of like a knight. Damn, they like brought her out quickly. Like, uh, Asuna and Kirito are still in uh, the underworld. So, like, I think like probably 10 or 15 minutes have passed. And like, within 10 or 15 minutes, they like prepared a synthetic body for Alice and. Like brought her out as well? Like that's fast. Damn. Like I, I expected something like this happening. Like um like I, I thought that most probably like they'll uh like make a robot and put Alice's artificial intelligence into it, but I did not expect like like this is not a robot I think like this is probably a synthetic body or something like that like uh, I don't know like robots are more like uh, what can I say like they're more like uh, like tin colored and like as we picture robots so she is technically I think a robot like her outer body but like it is like more like a synthetic type of body as far as I can understand by seeing and obviously she's not a robot because like her soul or the uh, flux light is something that has like been brought up in underworld and it has been brought up like a normal human like this is technically not an AI like Alice like the flux light is also a kind of soul and I think like, okay obviously the name is Alice of this chapter uh, of this episode Hmm. 
<laughs> she went guardian. <laughs> Damn. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, she has a soul, like the flux light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is what I was saying. Like, this is not an AI. Um, okay. You're gonna get slapped, dude. What the f- What? <laughs> good, good, good answer, Alice. <laughs> yeah. Like a <laughs> Where is it comes from? Yeah, obviously like this is another portion like people some people would be like concerned about Yeah, yeah, like uh, taking the jobs and all like people are really scared about this Yeah, obviously. Hmm. Like, I really love the concept that SAO is using. Like, these things will come into our world eventually. Like, if we think about it. Yeah, like, what differentiates an AI from a human? Human are like, brought out from the like from an infant to the adulthood yeah obviously uh, yeah it'll take a long time Okay, well... Well, the same thing can be called for humans, like, yeah, like a baby is also born from a human, so like, what's the problem here? <laughs> yeah, like, damn, like, yeah, 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 that would be like, uh, <laughs> well, that's what they are doing to Alice. <laughs> Damn, this is, these people are like, oh my god. Well, at least that kind of like convinced them.
Hmm. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, he died? What the hell? These guys are like just... Oh, okay, like say they're like doing this for... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, I, I can see what they're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be like at their yeah What's happening? Yeah. Uh, well, everyone has this question. Aside from one possibility. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, is Kirito like waking up? Okay, so like they're successfully logged him out. Damn, Kyoto looks like extremely. What? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Since the start of the mean the queen's rolls are done. Damn, like they like two hundred years of memories. God, like if that still remains in the real world, like that would pose a problem to them. Okay, so Oh my god. And he was saying like the queen's memories, like is that, is, is it referring to uh, Asuna by that? Asuna looks like younger, what the hell? Three days. Oh, 
Okay, like I really n wanted to see what happened in these 200 years. Like, that would make a really good side story. I know like they're going to show like glimpses of it, but <laughs> like I'm not satisfied with that. I really want like and he has forgotten all of that. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, when like they steal technology and all are like more advanced. <laughs> well oh well he's retired now <laughs> oh okay like he's Okay. Oh yeah. Um aren't looking very good. What? Oh my god. Okay. What? What? Yeah, he's like saying all of this so coolly. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, that is kind of a hope. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. to a sentinel what 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 wait a minute oh my god Oh my god. Well, like, what happened to Asuna then?
Yeah, that is also known. Delete the right one. Yeah, I would fight only for the underworld. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. I, s I said this just before, the, like in the previous episode, this guy won't die. Like he'll come back over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, the curiosity of the unknown. <laughs> Damn. So like there's two Kirito now, now one is the real one and another is the copied one uh, who does not have the memories of the 200 years, okay. He still has residual memories, as far as like, we can see. Oh no, so... So the okay okay so he kept religious memories Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, like, like all of these government things and all of those things that are happening, like official things, like new world. So, like, there's one thing that I'm guessing. I don't know. Like, either like they'll uh, probably like uh, solve all of these like problems, like the of official like works they have to do. Like obviously Alice is like a brand new thing and there will be a lot of official proced procedures and all of those things and like this will take a lot of time and like we can already see that Alice is getting stressed out at that and like there are two things that can happen um, either like uh, like the uh, underworld Tito is planning to like make contact with uh, um, Kayaba and like do something for that world like he's saying that we'll fight for that world and either like I think that Alice would probably and I like go back to that world or like do something like that and it will be like something like she will something will be something like Yui like uh, as we see like uh, when Kirito and uh, Asuna goes to like ALO and uh, so like when they uh, dive they get to see Yui and I think like uh, Alice will either be s like like choose that path or like all of these problems will like be resolved and she would like be remain in the real world like uh, this can go uh, like either these two ways and uh, I prefer the second one that is I really want Alice to like like stay here and like I understand like this is going in a bad direction because like she n never wanted this she was just like she was a uh, like ordinary girl in underworld who was an intricate knight and like the only thing she had to like think about and all was like fighting and uh, keeping uh, the people he l loved safe and all of, like just these but now after coming to the real world like like all of these things like uh, as we can see like she has to like dress up attend parties and all like talk to officials uh, keep a fake smile on and like like these are stressful and people who are not accustomed to this might get burnt out easily and <clears throat> like Alice is not even from this world so she'll obviously get more burnt out like all of these people like even though she kept a brave face outside like like we can all understand that she is even for a little bit even if it is like a little amount she is a bit scared because like this is a completely new world and she understands that she is completely different from all of these people she like addresses them as real worlders because like she understands that she's different from them and like even though like she has a soul she is technically different from them and that kind of like makes her more alienated and all and that would like not happen if Kirito and Asuna were there for her like beside her in the real world but that w is not possible all of the time because like she has to like uh, go to the official meetings and all like uh, attend all of these things like all of these um, uh, what can I say all of these complicated things because she is a completely new existence in this world so i don't know like i really want her to like stay and like this will be like a good thing like kirito's like uh like as we know kirito's uh start the way like that the thing he studies is the main goal of that is for like the uh, virtual world and the real world to coincide and like he wants that and that's the reason why like he made um like that thing for yui uh that uh, kind of like that he used in mother's rosario and like his like he wants that and if alice stays here that would be like uh, one of the things that is like something close to what he wants so like uh yeah like that is 
like i really want uh, alice to stay but i don't know we'll probably see in the next episode like the, uh, the name of the next episode is new world so i'm hoping like kirito like in the underworld kirito will like do something about the whole situation so we'll see like and like uh, i was really surprised at that portion like i never expected like uh kirito to be like uh like exist at uh, two places at the same time so like they copied his soul so let me get this uh, like let me clear this out like he's like he's not an stl uh oh, sorry uh, i'm uh, saying this wrong he is not an artificial flashlight like her uh, like his uh, soul is real so like as he was diving his real soul like aged 200 years in that world and when he came out he asked um uh, higa to like delete uh like his uh, what can i say like his 200 year old soul and before deleting he must have asked him to make a copy of the soul minus all of those like 200 year memories so like he asked higa to like pluck out that 200 year memories portion and make a copy which like has only um, the only exception is the user's memory user's memory is still there so like the only things that staying in the copy is the real world memories and the par portion of, of UGO and delete the other all of the other portions but Higa did not do that Higa like did another thing he made a copy of Kirito deleted the 200 year memories but the original uh, like uh, the soul from which he made a copy of he kept that so like technically speaking the Kirito that is in the real world is a copy of his uh, original soul so like like just think about it so that means like um like if like it is a copy so it's like uh like they are the same technically but still it is a copy like it is not the original one so like that is really fascinating thinking about and another thing i uh, did not understand is like why they did not um make a copy of asuna's soul like they did this to kirito but why not asuna i'm thinking like one thing uh, explains this and this is just my guess like did asuna die in uh, underworld so they were unable to make a copy no that is not possible because if she died in the underworld she wouldn't be here so like okay so she was like her, her flashlight was um, alive so I, I did not i do not understand like they made a copy of kirito's soul so why they did not make a copy of asuna like uh kirito is saying here that if both of like if uh, you had made a soul of a uh, copy of my and asuna's soul we would like uh, try to like what can i say um like uh, negotiate between the real world and the uh, uh underworld and if you have only made my uh, flux light a uh, copy of flux light so i would only fight for the underworld like something like this so like i did not get it why they were unable like they did not make a copy of azuna's 200 years soul but probably something like uh, happened like uh, i think probably like uh, higa was only able to like secure um like uh, make a copy of Kirito's soul without uh, letting the others know like he did it uh, secretly like Kikoka and the like others do not know only Higa knows that so yeah that's one thing so like I feel bad for Alice because like she did not want all of these things like she just wanted to be like uh, with his with her friends and all but now she has to like face all of these problems and all I really hope that uh, like she stays uh, in the real world and like these problems uh, like uh, eventually gets resolved and sh she can get her peace but another thing like i was uh, like i really like about one thing i really love about so is like like the things they uh, like put out i they are going to happen in the real world eventually like the full dive technology uh, when SAO kind of came out uh, like obviously SAO is not the first uh, uh, anime that uh, like brought this thing that is the uh, getting stuck inside a video game uh, if you want an example uh, if you guys know dot hack uh, what was his name dot hack 
something GU or something like that uh, there was an anime and a game uh, of that as well that is really old I think that is one of the like oldest uh, animes and video games to like introduce this concept of getting stuck in a video game I think and uh, yeah uh, and like there are others as well so like SL is not a new thing no new concept like when SL came out it was like uh, this, these kind of things was were like made before but the thing that SL does is like for example full dive technology like uh, I was uh, like recently uh, surfing in the YouTube and I saw like um, a video where they were saying that not a video uh, quite a few of them uh, which were saying that full dive technology at the level which is at the level of SO is like going to come soon in the in our real world like uh, I'm guessing it will like take more 10 or 15 more years to it like be like uh, what can I say mm, completed uh, uh, fully and like for it to work flawlessly and so like these things are coming and like full dive technology is obviously like here uh, like almost here and after that full dive technology SO kind of introduced another thing that is flock like thing and like if we uh, think about it what differentiates an AI from a human soul obviously a human soul is something which is like uh, growing up from the like infant stage to adulthood and it grows continually but an AI is something that humans put uh, intelligence art artificially into something like there is like AIs don't grow like they learn but they don't grow so like th this is I think uh, in my like uh, opinion this is the only kind of the only thing that differentiates an AI from a uh, soul and like if we can like uh, th this is not impossible like if we can really make something with like our technological prowess that is something that is similar to this STL thing that is um, make an artificial world where we like introduce these kind of like in small uh, data intelligence datas like uh, which they call flux lights uh, and make them grow in that world like they are AIs but if they grow from an infant stage to like adulthood like then th that will like their AI things will get converted into a real soul like uh, what's the difference like there's not, no, not much difference between an AI and a real human um, soul and all like this is the only difference like uh, AI learns uh, a human soul also learns human brain also learns but uh, like there are a few here and there difference and I think that difference can be like removed if uh, something like that is brought out like the thing that they did in SAO and this is a really like a good concept and uh, I don't know like if uh, like uh, the like the person who made SAO uh, like uh, brought this uh, are bringing this out from his own uh, like uh, brain or like uh, like uh, <laughs> that came out wrong uh, like uh, is the person who making is like who's uh, writing the story of SAO like is he like imagining these things and writing them out uh, if that is the case then like I have to like applaud him for that like these uh, ideas are really interesting and uh, what can I say Re really unique and uh, like they can be uh, true one day like so yeah you guys will understand what, is, what I'm saying is like uh, I really enjoy this part of SAO that is like they bring out things which might be possible one day and like we are already close to full dive technology and who knows uh, someday we might be also close to STL and uh, something like that uh, like introducing real soul and uh, all of these things that are happening so I don't know like whether <laughs> whether uh, it would be in my lifetime or, or like in uh, two or three more generations later but still um, I, I doubt it will be in my like in our generation in our lifetime like and even if it is like we'd probably be old at that time but but full dive is uh, near so I'm hoping like uh, after we uh, become full-fledged adults uh, we at least get to get a taste of full dive technology. I'm really like excited for that. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, yeah, these were like the things that I really wanted to talk about in this episode. Like I really, I'm really f f like 
enjoying like these types of things like these type of new ideas and all and like uh, so uh, listening to Kirito's word, words he lived in that underworld for 200 years and he was calling Asuna uh, her majesty so like he I, I guess he was like a king of that place and Asuna was her, his queen and uh, like uh, we'll see like uh, what will happen to this like copied uh, not copied like the original Kirito's soul which is 200 years old like Will he is he going to like live in that underworld uh, and like die there when his time comes and like will something like that happen or like I don't know we'll probably get to know that in the next episode so yeah uh, I really enjoyed this episode uh, all because of all of these things like they like are introducing a lot of cool new uh, what can I say like concepts and all and I really enjoyed this like this aspect of SAO so yeah that was this episode and like as Alice was saying like um, like if we are suddenly see uh, like understand that yeah we are not doing all of these things on our own violation like if there are like masters who like uh, own us or created us if they suddenly come in front of us and say that like yeah we created you so you should probably uh, you are our slaves so how would you feel like like that is a hard-hitting truth like we don't know uh, like where we have come from like how we are created like uh, and all of these things so who knows someday uh, like uh, our creators might come in front of us and just say like yeah we created you like how would we feel at that time uh, <laughs> yeah these are all like hard-hitting questions so yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. So yeah, guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, uh, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, comment down below anything you want to share ab about this episode, anything you want to share with me, and I'll be sure to check them down, uh, check them out. And uh, yes, I'll be back with the new Sword Art Online episode. That would probably be the last one. I think uh, episode 11 is the last one. I don't know. I'll check it out later on. So next week. So yeah, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.